Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Walters. You're watching Kevin's Auto Channel. And today, I want to talk about the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco. has been 24 years I believe since we last saw the Bronco in 1996 and today we get to talk about the reintroduction to this awesome vehicle now what I want to talk about today are some of the specs and some of the trim level facts so the Bronco is going to be offered in a two-door, four-door option, or the all-new crossover Bronco Sport. Now, for your main engines, you're going to have a choice between a 2.3-liter turbo four-cylinder or a 2.7-liter EcoBoost twin-turbo V6. Now, what is exciting about this is there are two transmission options. One is a seven-speed manual, which is basically a six-speed with a crawl gear, or a ten-speed automatic. Now, here's the only downside to that. The bigger engine, the 2.7-liter EcoBoost twin-turbo V6, will only be available with a 10-speed automatic. Sorry manual fans, no manual in the EcoBoost V6. So that's sort of a downer, but it is what it is. Maybe 2022 they'll offer both. We don't know. They're just going to reintroduce it for right now. So you will also have uh, some models will come with either a part-time or full-time transfer case. Now, GOAT modes, standard. This is awesome. GOAT stands for go over any terrain. Basically, your options are going to be with a flick of a dial or button, you can go between normal, eco, sport, 
slippery, sand, Baja, which is your rougher terrain, mud, or full-on rock crawl. So that's nice. That's going to be standard right in the vehicle. Another great feature to the all-new Bronco is going to be removable roof and removable doors. Now, what do you mean by removable roof? Basically, what they've done in this new Bronco is basically there's a big hole cut out in the center of the roof all the way around all four sides with maybe like a six inch um, barrier all the way around and that part of the roof will come off leaving you with a big open panoramic sort of like a manual sunroof if you will now the way they engineered the Bronco the bracing there is no brace right in the middle so it's going to be all open the towing capacity obviously uh, properly equipped will be a maximum of 3,500 pounds so need be you need to hook a trailer up to your Bronco and pull a lawnmower or something in a pinch you can do that with the Bronco another thing they have already come out with over 200 accessories for the two-door and the four-door Bronco. So basically what Ford is doing is like Dodge did with the Ram. Dodge took Ram, made it its own brand. This is what I'm thinking of they're going toward with the Bronco. Bronco is going to be Bronco. It's not going to be Ford Bronco. It's just Bronco. And I think eventually with the Mustang Mach E coming out, um, they would be smart to do Mustang as their own brand also, since that's basically going to be their only uh, car in the Ford fleet from now on. So we'll see. Time will tell. Trim levels and pricing. So starting out is simply the base the base trim level now this is the exciting part the base trim level for a two-door base starts at twenty eight thousand five hundred dollars now that's going to get you the four cylinder and the uh seven speed manual so for a base that is a great starting price, especially if you don't want the optional uh, upgraded wheels and tires. You want to do your own thing on your Bronco. Start with your base. You're going to come out a lot cheaper doing that. Now, the base is meant to be a blank slate, like we was just saying, for further customization. Standard on the base is going to be 6-inch steel wheels. Steelies, um, which would be wrapped in 255 70 R16 tires. In the base configuration, two doors, you're going to have a 35.4 degree approach angle, 21.1 uh, degree breakover, and a 29.8 degree departure angle. For four doors, those numbers are 35.5. 20 even and 29.7 respectively now the base transfer case is going to be an electronic shift on the fly unit that is found in the ford f-150 so pretty beefy transfer case for the base option it's going to offer a two high a four high or four low mode plus your neutral for flat towing now, this is the big thing. As you know, on Mustangs, uh, if you want to get the nice 8-inch touchscreen sync, you have to, you, you can't get the base Mustang. You have to get an upper, at least a 301A package to get that touchscreen. 
what they've done for the Bronco. The 8-inch touchscreen with Sync 4, this is the new generation, will come standard on the base model. So, meaning you get the base model, you want to customize it, you do not have to pay extra for a nice touchscreen. It's going to come standard. Of course, it's going to have your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto already integrated into the vehicle, so you don't have to pay extra. Second trim level. Big Bend. Now, Big Bend has a starting price. And of course, these starting prices are all for the two-door versions. Of course, it will be more for four-door. But uh, starting price for Big Bend is $33,385. They say to think of Big Bend equivalent to your XLT F-150. So, what does Big Ben come with? Big Ben gets a wheel upgrade. It gets 17 inch aluminum wheels wrapped in 255 75 R17 tires. So, a little bit better wheel, a little bit more money. Here we go. This will come standard with Ford's Co Pilot 360 suite of advanced driver assist technologies, um, which includes adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot warning, cross traffic alert, trailer coverage, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, and a 360 degree camera, plus some more. You go up one trim level from the base, all of that comes standard. Also available on Big Bend will be remote start options, uh, the larger 12 inch infotainment screen wow that's a big screen in a car and a power inverter also on big bend marine grade vinyl seat upholstery this is great if you want to um go off-roading you're going to do a lot of mudding with this bronco marine grade vinyl is the way to go you just wipe it off and you're good Leather, it's going to be a little bit harder to clean, might stain, depending on what color you get. Cloth, forget it. Don't go mudding with cloth. Now, along with the marine grade vinyl, there are also going to be quarter turn drain plugs in each footwell, so driver and passenger side. What does that mean? You can just take your hose, wash out your interior when you're through mudding because it's going to have vinyl floors, no carpet on this one, so you just go for it. Now, the standard hard top on these lower grades is likely to be molded in color, black or white, uh, with uh, four doors having an optional soft top. So, that's your big bend, akin to the XLT F-150. Next is number three, Black Diamond. Now, Black Diamond sounds like a higher premium trim level. This one is right in the middle. Black Diamond is gonna start at $36,050. With Black Diamond, you get a little bit bigger tire. You're going to get 265 70 R17s. Available on Black Diamond, steel bumpers with a modular front bumper, heavy-duty skid plates, and a locking differential. So that's Black Diamond. Pretty simple. Number four. Number four on the trim level list is called Outer Banks, which is right up the road a little ways in North Carolina. Anyway, Outer Banks starts at $38,955 for the two-door, of course. What do you get with Outer Banks? This time, wheels are $255, so we went back down on the width. $255, 70 R18s went down on the width. Bigger wheel, though. These will come with high-gloss aluminum rims that are going to be the largest available on the Bronco. 
first time on this trim level, the Outer Banks is going to have the signature LED headlights and taillights. So if you want the LEDs, you got to go Outer Banks at the least. Now, also on the Outer, uh, outer Banks, this is the only trim level I believe this comes with. You're going to get body color fender flares. So if you don't want the flat black fender flares, which by the way are removable with just a couple snaps, you have to get the outer banks. Now, this one, this one's, mm, I don't know about this option, or come standard, cloth seats. Mm, like I said, cloth seats, going to be hard to clean. Wouldn't recommend going mudding unless your windows are up and uh, you do not have the optional hollowed out doors. So you can do it. Not going to have as much fun though. But the seats are going to be heated in the outer banks. Now, the mid package comes standard. There are three packages. You got mid package, high package, and lux package. We'll go over those in a minute. But on this one, the mid package is going to come standard. Also available will be your 12 inch Sync 4 uh, infotainment system and BNO sound system. When you get to the outer banks, the seven speed manual will no longer be an option. From here on out, the uh, these next these four uh, trim levels, sorry no manual available so that brings us to number five number five is called badlands badlands is going to start at forty two thousand ninety five dollars so we broke the 40s now forty two thousand ninety five dollars the badlands has an equivalent to the jeep rubicon vibe meant to be the most all-around off-road capable package on any of the Bronco family. Standard equipment includes a stabilizer bar disconnect system. I believe this is the feature where if you are rock crawling and you need traction, you can hit a button on the dash on one of the um, weatherproof buttons. It will actually electronically break your front stabilizer bar, causing your tire and wheel to drop to get you a little bit more traction and this is also like a shift on the fly feature also standard equipment continuing position sensitive Bilstein shocks electro hydraulically shifted transfer cache that adds a four auto mode and a standard front and rear locking differentials um, a choice of mud terrain or all terrain design tires will come standard. These will be a little bit wider, 285 70 R17s. Also available on the Badlands, we now have an optional leather seating along with a 12 inch Sync 4 screen, BNO sound system, and now you can get available floor carpeting, which if you're going to be off roading, I do not recommend. That's the Badlands. Number six on our list is called Wild Track. Wild Track comes in at a cool $48,875 to start off with. Uh, this Wild Track will have a high speed desert runner look to it. Standard on this is going to be your 2.7 liter EcoBoost. And the 10-speed automatic transmission, like we said earlier. Now, huh, on this wild track, uh, you are going to get big 35-inch tires with bead lock ready wheels. You say, why didn't Ford go ahead and put the bead locks on there? Uh, it's a legal thing. Bead locks cannot come from factory. Full-on bead locks cannot come from factory. It's just, they can't. But they make this option available. They sort of found a loophole. 
made this optional. Lots of black accents are on this wild track model. Plastic front and rear bumpers, carpeted flooring, the mid package and the Sasquatch package are standard on this trim level. Sasquatch package, which we'll get into here in a minute, is awesome. That's the reason it has these big 35s on it. And of course, you're going to have special wild track hood graphics on this model. The piece de resistance, number seven, is called first edition. Why is it called first edition? Because it's going to be the premium first edition run of the Broncos that you can special order. Now, because these are in such demand, Ford wasn't originally going to only offer 3,500 units first edition. They recently, past week or so, upped that number to 7,000. So, must be having a lot of orders come in for those. They want to give people, more people, the option to get this model. So, they doubled their order to 7,000. And, of course, in those 7,000 units, you'll have two and four-door variants. This first edition is a fully loaded trim level, meaning it's got the Lux package. Uh, that is basically Badlands based with the optional Sasquatch, 35-inch tires, body color door handles and exterior graphic elements borrowed from the Wild Track model. Inside, you're going to find leather and touches borrowed from the outer banks, along with all the meaningful content from the various options. Now, price on this first edition starting out is $59,305, so we are getting close to that $60,000 mark. If you get four-door, you're going to be over 60. So, the first edition takes all of the best from all of the trim levels, puts it all into one package. This is why there's only going to be 7,000 units. But if you're the lucky one of those 7,000, this Bronco probably going to be a little worth a little bit of money in the future. We've been talking about these packages. What do these packages include? So, the first package I want to talk about is the Sasquatch package. Now, the Sasquatch package is a special package. This package will be across the entire line. So, from your base model all the way up to your first edition, this Sasquatch package will be available. Except on the Wild Track because it comes standard with it anyway. And first edition is going to come standard with it anyway. So, but anyway, the Sasquatch package turns even the entry level Bronco into an all terrain monster. You're going to get 17 inch beadlock compatible wheels wrapped in 35 inch mud tires. You're also going to get an electromechanical transfer case, an M210 Dana Adventech independent front axle, locking front and rear axles, larger fender flares, additional suspension clearance, heavy duty Bilstein shocks, and of course, required to get the Sasquatch package, you're going to have to have the 10 speed automatic. Just got to. So that's the Sasquatch package, like I said, available across the line. Now, your mid package, you, and you can think of these packages as traditional convenience packages, but your mid package, you're going to get two door intelligent access with lock and unlock. You're going to get a, a 110 volt power outlet ambient footwell lighting, an auto dimming rear view mirror, dual zone electronic automatic temperature controls, heated front seats, illuminated visor mirrors, the remote start system, automatic transmission only, of course, reverse sensing system, 
you're going to get a three month trial subscription to the navigation. You're going to get Sync 4 with enhanced voice recognition, the Ford Copilot 360 suite, blind spot information system, cross traffic alert, lane keeping system, the auto high beam headlamps, and the rear view camera with backup assist grid lines. So all of that is on your mid package. Now, if you want to step it up, you go to the high package. What comes on the high package? You're going to get, of course, the mid package, everything included in that, plus the 12 inch center stack touchscreen. You're going to get a 360 degree camera so you can see all around the vehicle, top and all around. You're going to get additional sound deadening materials to make it a little bit quieter on the highway. You're going to get a forward sensing system. So if you're about to hit a pole, you know, you're parking up too close to something, whatever, in your garage, you're going to get that forward sensing system. And you're going to get side view mirror LED approach lamps and spotlights. So that's your high package. Now, if you want to go all out, you go with Lux package. What's on the Lux package? Your Lux package, of course, is going to offer, include, your Lux package is going to include, of course, your mid and high packages, plus you're going to get adaptive cruise control. You're going to get the B&O sound system standard with the 10 speakers and the subwoofer. You're going to get evasive steering assist. You're going to get a heated steering wheel. Your universal garage door opener buttons. Two additional front row smart charging USB ports. Your voice activated touchscreen navigation system. And you're going to get a wireless charging pad for your phone. So that's all out your Lux package. So that is your trim levels and prices of your trim levels on the 2021 Bronco two door and four door. Quickly, I want to talk about the little Bronco Sport. The Bronco Sport is smaller than your regular Bronco. It's more of a crossover. Now, the Bronco Sport has the bones of the Ford Escape. It's got some Bronco muscle to it. So, your Bronco Sport is going to range from $28,155 all the way up to $39,995. So what do you get? You're going to have two different engines available in this Bronco Sport. You're going to have the option of a 1.5 liter three-cylinder or a 2.0 liter four-cylinder. And of course, those are turbo engines. Uh, that carry over from the Escape with just a little bit more power. So the 1.5 has 181 horsepower and 190 foot-pound of torque. And the 2 liter has 245 horsepower and 275 foot-pound of torque. Now, these will both come with the only transmission available on the Bronco Sport, which is an 8-speed automatic carried over from the Escape. Suspension features unique control arms and knuckles that increase the suspension travel and broaden the front and rear track by 0.8 inches. That, that will bring your tires right out even with the body, but this is going to render the Bronco Sport unavailable in Europe due to their automobile standards. So, sorry Europe, can't get the Bronco Sport. Electric power steering uh, is programmed to match the different drive modes. 
and to provide added dampening and rock crawling modes to prevent the kickback that those conditions can cause. The Bronco Sport is 7.8 inches shorter in length and on the wheelbase that equals to 1.6 inches shorter. But it's going to be a little bit taller. It's, the roof is going to be 4.2 inches taller than the Escape. As far as the trim level packages go, the first step above the base model uh, Bronco Sport is the Big Bend uh, matching the Escape SC features. Then you have the Outer Banks that will have extra body color trim and the option of a black roof. At the top you're going to have the Badlands model which will have a black or gray roof depending on how you want to color match that. And there will also be 2,000 fully loaded Badlands based first edition models featuring unique graphics and trim for 2021. So there again you're going to have 2,000 editions of a first edition Badland model. So if you're lucky enough and you want to go Bronco Sport, you will be able to get that if you pre-order. All models across the board are going to get the standard uh, Copilot 360 safety gear, uh, which can be upgraded to include lane uh, centering assist, intelligent active cruise control, which will follow the posted speed limits. LED headlamps are standard on all trims. Selectable drive modes with all Bronco Sports will be normal, eco, sport, slippery, and sand. Uh, Badlands will offer two more uh, off-road settings, which will be rock crawl, mud, and ruts. Base vehicles will get 17-inch alloy rims designed to look like stillies, um, wrapped in 225-65R17s. Options include 235-65R17s. And on the fancier 1.5 liter models, you can get a 225-60R18 that will have the skinniest sidewall available on that. Along with the Bronco Sport, you're going to have 100 plus available accessories to choose from and order from Ford. So there again, we're seeing the trend of making Bronco its own brand. So... That is an overview, an overlook at the Bronco family that will be introduced in 2021. The first to come out will be the two-door and four-door Broncos, the full Broncos. Then later on, I believe spring or summer of 2021, the Bronco Sport will come out. So, there you have it. 24 years, by the time it comes out, 25 years later, and we see a reappearance and an awesome redesign paying homage to the original 1966 Bronco. And I think it's going to be great. The only downside to it is you can't get a V8 from factory. But that doesn't mean that you can't get one altogether. PAX Power. PAX Power is going to offer the V8 option, <laughs> but it's going to come at a price. So, from PAX Power, you will be able to get a 5.0 liter V8 Coyote engine mated to a 10-speed automatic. They're going to have to change out the transmission also because uh, apparently the um, 5.0 liter requires a uh, some different calibrations in the transmission and all. So you're going to have to switch out the engine and the transmission. And they will offer this package for $30,000 on top of whichever trim level you get your Bronco in. Meaning you take a base Bronco at 28.5, you add the $30,000 V8, you're going to come out at $58,500 for a base model. So you can see where this is going. You're going to you're going to easily get to that 100,000 mark if you want a V8 Bronco. Now, 
if you want a manual transmission, they can give you a manual transmission. Um, obviously, it'll have to be compatible with that 5.0 liter V8, but it is possible if you want a V8 manual Bronco, you can get it. You just have to pay for it. Now, that's not the only option Patch Power is going to give you. If the 5.0 liter Coyote V8 is not enough power for you, well then, they will also offer a supercharged version of the 5.0 liter Coyote V8. You're just going to have to add 15 more thousand dollars. Yes, if you want the supercharged V8 package from Pax Power, it's going to be a nice and cool $45,000 on top, mind you, on top of your Bronco price. If you want a V8, you're going to have to pay for it. That is the 2021 Bronco. Have you ordered yours yet? Are you going to order one? Do you want one? Leave a comment down below. What's your plans? Would you like to have the all-new 2021 Bronco? I'm Kevin Walters. You have been watching Kevin's Auto Channel. I hope you have a great day today. Now, do not forget about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. You may say, well, what is the 1,000 subscriber giveaway? Well, I have set a goal on this channel to reach 1,000 subscribers as quickly as I can. To motivate you to hit that subscribe button down below, I am giving away this 159-piece Craftsman Mechanics Tool Set valued at almost $200. Now, the set that you are seeing here is my personal set. It is a great set of tools. If you are just getting started on project cars, tinkering around in your garage on the weekends, this is the perfect tool set for you. You have Allen wrenches. You have the uh, multi-head screwdriver. You have the wrenches, metric, standard sockets. You have three-eighths, half-inch, and quarter-inch drivers with the extenders with them. You can change your spark plugs. You can tune up your own car with this set. You can modify your car with this tool set. You can use this tool set around the house if you need to. Whatever you need it for, this is a Craftsman tool set. It has a lifetime warranty. And you could be the lucky winner of this tool set if you hit the subscribe button down below. Now, I know what you're saying, or you may be thinking, Kevin, I subscribed before you announced this giveaway. You're fine. You're, you're grandfathered in. Um, anybody who is a subscriber, up to 1,000 subscribers, will be entered for a chance to win this 159-piece Craftsman tool set. So, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below because you could be the lucky winner.